Hey guys. So I had a request from a friend of mine who just started watching the channel um, to do a what's in my cupboard kind of video. Um, and how I'm going zero waste as well. So let's get started. Vinegar. I use this mostly for cleaning, um, but I also use it in food applications and on my hair. Um, but this one stays in the kitchen. The one that I use in my hair is in the bathroom, or will be when I get more. Um, potato starch. I use potato starch to thicken stews and gravies. Um, I like it better than cornstarch. Baking soda. I use baking soda in baking, obviously. But also for cleaning, it makes a really good abrasive um, scour instead of using harsh chemicals i use it along with the bait with the vinegar for cleaning uh pasta flour which i have not used yet um i want to learn how to make my own pasta but i haven't done that yet and this this is extra that wouldn't fit in the jar and then back here i have regular unbleached flour um, that I just use for general baking. Um, I'm still kind of learning the whole baking thing. I'm not very good at it yet, but we're getting there. We're learning. Uh, Vita wheat gluten for when I get brave enough to make my own seitan. But I've heard horror stories about it blowing up in the oven. So I'm not quite, uh, I haven't gotten, the, I haven't gotten brave enough to try it yet, but I've got the vital wheat gluten for when I need and as you can see I went whole hog because I really love seitan so when I finally make it there we go masa harina which is corn flour um, this is for corn tortillas and corn chips which are really easy to make it's literally this water salt and a little bit of oil and the oil is optional I got baking powder for baking. Um, French lentils, which are super easy to make and go really well in stir fries, um, curries, stews, things like that. Um, barley. I like barley for breakfast and I also like to make it in stews and soups. Um, and then as like just a side dish as well. It takes a long time to cook, but it's nutritionally dense. There is like six or eight grams of protein per cup or something like that. I'm not sure the exact. Smati rice. Um, I am not a fan of brown rice. I've had it before. I used to eat it all the time, um, even though I didn't like it. So now, I ate basmati rice. I don't think there's anything wrong with having white rice. It's not the enriched white or white rice, it's basmati rice. I like it. Next I have bulgur wheat. This is super easy to make. Um, literally just pour hot water on it and let it absorb the water and then it's done and you can season it. Next we have red quinoa, um, also very versatile, good in pretty much anything as a side dish, as a main dish, as a salad, as a snack, hot or cold, breakfast or dinner. It's really good sweet or savory, very versatile. And then I have three different kinds of oats and oat bran. So, I have thick oats, rolled oats, quick oats, and oat bran. Why? So the thick oats are for when I make granola. So the thick oats and the oat bran are perfect for granola. I also use oat bran in veggie burgers as instead of breadcrumbs because it's about the same consistency, um, but you get more 
nutrients, more benefits with oat bran than you do with breadcrumbs. At least that's what I found. The quick oats are, I bring, I actually put them in a bag and I take some to work with me. And this is what I eat for breakfast most days of the week um, at work because all I have to cook with there is a microwave. And I can cook these in a minute or two depending on how much stuff I put in it. I usually put uh, a banana and then like some other fruit, raisins, dates, um, walnuts, things like that in there as well. And then I have rolled oats, which, um, I don't know, I just felt like having rolled oats one day and I got enough, probably also add them to granola, might make cookies or bars with them or something, I don't know, but I have them. So, moving on, raisins, pretty self-explanatory, good snacks, good source of quick carbs, um, yeah, and really good in oatmeal and in quinoa and also in bulgur and things like that. Textured vegetable protein, which is basically just defatted soy um, beans. And it's just a really good source of protein. When you rehydrate it and cook it, it kind of takes on the consistency of ground beef. Um, it doesn't taste like ground beef. Don't think that. Um, but you can season it. It works really well for like tacos, spaghetti, anything where you would use ground meat. Um, it works pretty well. So there's that. And then I have penne noodles. These are whole wheat penne noodles that I got in bulk. Um, I like penne because they scoop up all the sauce that you put in. I usually make a tomato sauce or I'll make uh, a vegan cheese sauce. And then I have dried soy nuts because when I finally get around to it, I'm gonna make my own soy milk. I've had these for quite a while. And then I have chickpeas, self-explanatory, garbanzo beans, hummus, salads, curries, whatever you wanna use garbanzo beans for. I got them, I love these things. Pancake mix. This is one of the best vegan pancake mixes I have ever been able to find. Um, yeah, I really like it. I haven't actually made pancakes with it, but I've made uh, breakfast cakes that I cooked in the oven with it, and it was amazing, amazing. And I used uh, whipped banana instead of oil, so, because I do uh, high carb, low fat, and if you're interested in learning about high carb, low fat, comment down below, let me know, um, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you wanna see more. Oh, I almost forgot, pumpkin seeds. I bought these yesterday so that I could put them in my granola, and I'm gonna roast some up in a little bit for snacking. I'm trying to get away from eating chips. So I thought I'd show you guys just real quick how I'm doing this. I'm gonna roast some of these pumpkin seeds or pepitas. Um, and I just added a little bit of salt to the pan. I'm dry roasting them so there's no oil or butter or anything like that. And I just put them in this pan. Then I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes or until they're done. Um, and then I'll let them cool and put them in a jar and eat them as I want them. All right. So, I apologize, I didn't record the end result of the pumpkin seeds. Um, I burnt them, so I had to start over. I got distracted, I forgot about them. Um, so yeah, but I did end up roasting some more pumpkin seeds and some walnuts. I am going to take some of the walnuts and I'm going to make walnut clusters with some vegan chocolate. Um, probably do that tomorrow. I think I'm done in the kitchen. I just got done cleaning up and all that. All my clean dishes. Um, 
I ended up having a friend come over and we got to chatting and stuff and I didn't record my dinner like I was going to but I took some pictures and I will have the recipe for it on my website tomorrow morning um, if you want to go check that out I did a um, like a vegan cheesy pasta thing um, it was delicious and I will link it link the recipe down below um, but anyway thanks for watching my video I think this is going to be the end of it um, obviously I'm recording the outro so regardless this is gonna be the end unless I'm like oh but wait because I do that if you liked the video give it a thumbs up um, feel free to comment down below um, and yeah if you want to see more content go ahead and click that subscribe button and ding the little bell so that you get notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.